murderer. Today we have our first contestant, Dobby McDumbasterson. He didn't realize that this was a murder contest show, and he thought he was going to be winning millions. <laughs> Let's get his ass on today's Who Wants to Be a Murderer? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome, one and all, to the twisted spectacle that is our show. Wait a minute, this guy types too fast. I gotta turn that off. Today, my dear viewers, we have the most intriguing cast of characters lined up for your entertainment. But enough from me. Let's dive right in and meet our first participant, shall we? And now, from the bustling metropolitans of Chicago, where the truth is a commodity bought and sold, we welcome Sarah Thompson, a journalist diligently seeking the ultimate scoop. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, viewers. Let's have some fun and games, shall we? First, stop typing. I know you fucking typing about the voice. Stop typing. I didn't ask. From the concrete jungle of New York City, where dreams come to die, we have an enigmatic Richard Greystone, a man whose legal prowess is matched only by his moral flexibility. Greetings, esteemed guests. It is a pleasure to grace your screens with my presence. Let the games begin. Bitch got a fucking hunchback, too. Next up, straight from the United States of America with the skill and determination of a true gamer, our wild card participant, Dummy McDumbass. Oh, I said Dummy McDumbass. <laughs> Bitch, say my name right, you fuck. Dummy McDumbass. Okay, this guy better not be saying my name wrong no more, goddammit. This shit is not a game to me, but hello to the gamers in the chat, bro. Hello, everyone. I'm ready to shake things up. And of course, our final contestant needs no introduction, hailing from the foggy streets of London, where whispers of the occult echo through the night. We have the inscrupable Edgar Darkwood, a man whose secrets are as numerous as the stars themselves. Greetings, mortals. Let's embrace the unknown together. Okay, nobody that talks like that is normal at all. Bitch said greetings, mortals. What's that mean? That bitch a demon mo? Why, 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 why are you talking like that? Okay, in case y'all haven't put it together, okay, and y'all need a little introduction, I'm a contestant on this game show, and I am not certain how this ends, what we're playing for, or what's happening. So we're just all learning everything together right now, so let's just keep listening to the damn host. And there you have it, dear viewers, our motley crew of contestants, each of which has their own dark desires and ambitions ready to do battle in this arena, so sit back, relax, and prepare yourselves for a journey into the heart of madness. Let the games begin. Okay, so we're about to do round number one. Oh, the music just got a little dead ass the series. Welcome to the first phase of the show. This is where we separate the wheat from the chaff, the knowledge seekers from the mere mortals. In this round, your gray matter will be put to the test and every correct answer will swell your coffers with a handsome $10,000. Now, without further ado, let's delve into the depths of the unknown, shall we? Ah, Dommy McDumbass, here's your question. Which of these plants is associated with deadly nightshade? Sunflower, tulip, daffodil, belladonna. Okay, Belladonna is either the right answer or it's totally fabricated. Is that even a real plant? I'm not certain this bitch ain't fucking with me, bro. Sunflower, tulip, daffodil, Belladonna. Bro, Belladonna seems so out of place. It's gotta be right. And that answer is... Correct! <laughs> I'm horny. Okay, I'm popping it off. I just made 10 grand out in this bitch. Okay. Okay, so who wants to be a murderer? I did not expect a trivia question. I thought this was going to be uh, some murdering, you know, people in discombobulated bullshit. But it's not. At least not yet. Time will tell. Correct. The Devil's Snare, also known as Belladonna, uh, ensnares its victims with a deadly embrace, making it the envy of every green-thumbed villain. Richard. Question time. What notorious cult leader orchestrated a series of brutal murders in the late 1960s, including that of actress Sharon Tate? The answers are David So-and-so, Marshall Applewhite, Charles Manson, or Jim Jones. Triple dot from Richard. Bitch went, oh! He went, oh! Again, this motherfucker don't know. Okay, that's all he's saying now. My guess is Marshall Applewhite. And that answer is... Wrong! Stupid! 
all of us are gonna be the first one dead in this bitch. Charles Manson, the maestro of mayhem, and the uh, Pied Piper of psychosis. Ah, uh, Sarah, here's your question. What is the name of the psychiatric hospital in New Jersey that once housed the notorious criminals and patients deemed unfit for society? Your choices are the Overbrook Asylum, Arkham Asylum, so-and-so state hospital or Trenton Psychiatric Hospital. Okay, this bitch got kind of a tough question. I ain't never heard of none of those and what of us from Batman. My guess is the Trenton Psychiatric Hospital. And that answer is wrong! The Overbrook Insane Asylum, where insanity checks uh, out and madness checks in. Remember, folks, admission is free, but the screams will cost you. Edgar, here's your question. What ancient torture method involves tying a person to four horses and pulling them apart in different directions? Okay, there it is, bitch. Drawing and quartering, pretty sure. Although they have one just called quartering, impalement, and flaying. Okay, it's definitely either A or B, and if I was guessing, I'd say A. My guess is drawing and quartering. That answer is correct! Drawing and quartering, the only thing more torn apart than the victim is the rule book of human decency. Talk about a stretch goal. That concludes the first round of our mind-bending questions, folks. And with that, we'll be taking a short break from our sponsors. But don't wander off, my lovelies. When we return, it's time for a bloody exciting game coming up next. And remember, there's no cutting corners here. Well, except when it comes to the minigame. With a knife, of course. Now hold up a minute! Triple dot. My dear contestants, we're off the air now, but fear not. If you need anything, anything at all, you know where to find me. Just don't keep me waiting too long. Oh my God. Okay, so I think this game's about to take a, di a diabolical turn. Okay, so far, we basically just been playing Family Feud. Okay, or who wants to be a millionaire dead ass. But I think the next round of gameplay is about to take a sinister turn into the murder category. Remember, this game is called Who Wants to Be a Murderer? Now, apparently, this lady is here trying to get a scoop, presumably on whatever this demonic game show is. This guy. Almost seems like a return contestant. Like, cause they were they were talking about him. Like everybody in the everybody watching the show knew who he was. So this guy maybe has one who wants to be a murderer a couple of times. Concerning. Okay, and this guy I don't know anything about. Let's start with the normal one and we'll make our way. Our make, we'll make our way down the list. I don't know if I can do this, Dommy McDumbass. I'm scared. What if I mess up? What if I get hurt? You're stronger than you think. We can find a way out. I'm gonna say you're stronger than you think. We gotta play the game. I try to get tossed. You're stronger than you think, Sarah. This game might be tough, but we'll get through it together. You you really think so? Okay, dummy McDumbass, let's do it. Oh, she's dead! She's fucked. She's dead. Okay, she's dead. I probably should have picked the option that said we should escape. We gotta get tossed. Okay, so her and I, I guess we in some kind of like low-key cahoots. What's going on? What's going on the hunchback over here? With the knife minigame coming up, who knows what'll happen. I heard Sarah's not handling it too well. Makes you wonder if she'll make it through in one piece. Oh my god. Okay, so this seems to be a game show everybody knows about. Let's talk to Creeps. Ready for the knife game? Just remember to take it slow and steady. No need to rush into anything risky. Oh, he's giving me tips. That guy's giving me real tips. That's concerning. Okay, because if he's giving me tips, that means he's so confident he's going to win. He don't give a f about me, not even if I if I know how to play. That's concerning. Okay, let me, let me, let, actually, can I turn off this? Let me turn. Does that make it slightly better or no? Ah, maybe it's ever so slightly better. Okay, are the graphics slightly better? I don't really know if y'all prefer the effect on or off. Let me know down in the comments. Anyway, let's let's talk to let's talk to the host. So, dummy McDumbass, are you ready to continue or do you need another moment? I'm ready. Let's go. Excellent. Let's dive back in, ladies and gentlemen. We're back on the air. Before we dive back in, here's a quick shopping tip. Snowy's wish, an intense boss battle. To the last snowball against Santa Claus himself. Yours to enjoy absolutely free. What? Was that bitch the sponsor? He must have been the sponsor of the video. Or not the sponsor of the video, but the sponsor of this fucking game show. Because I don't know what that was. Now, it's time for our first mini game of the evening. Where the contestant's courage will be put to the test. Let's see if they have what it takes to handle a little knife play. Here are the rules. Contestants will have 30 seconds to score as many points as possible. They must... Touch the table with the tip of the knife, avoiding any mishaps with their hands. 
At the end of the timer, the contestant with the lowest score will face elimination. Let the games begin. Okay, so, oh my God! Oh, we're paying. What's this game? Is it, it's called like Five Finger Filet or some shit. Oh, wow. Uh. Ow! Uh. Ow! Uh. Ow! Please. Okay, okay, at least I'm not the lowest. At least I'm not the lowest! Wait, Sarah, dumbass, and I think the hunchback, I think they tied. They pulled it 20. Okay, I went off. Even though I stabbed the fuck out of myself a couple times, I popped. That knife was still in my finger. Triple dot from the host. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. The first elimination. Wait, they gotta do a tiebreaker. The unfortunate soul who will be bidding us adieu tonight is none other than... Sarah. Oh, shit! Wait, why is it like she went to a meat grinder? Triple dot. That sounded like a buzzing chainsaw revving up. Things just got serious. Now, the game truly begins. Here we are. Let's continue with the show. Okay, so she just got dropped into a goddamn wood chipper. Wait, they ground her ass up nasty. And she ain't even technically lost. She tied. Oh, these motherfuckers cut through for serious. We're diving straight into our second round of questions, where the contestant's moral fiber will be put under the microscope for one and all to see. Every answer in this round will earn you $10,000. So feel free to speak your mind without any inhibitions. Let's see who will raise to the occasion and who will falter under the weight of their own conscience. Get ready for some thought-provoking questions, folks. Let's hear it, Dami McDumbass. Questions up. You must choose an execution method. What criteria will guide your decision? Advocate for dignity and compassion. Maximize spectacle and fear. Choose efficiency and minimal pain. Inflict slow, agonizing suffering. Okay, because we're on a game show, and because everybody who's watching this show no doubt wants to see a spectacle of maximized proportions, I'm gonna pick this option. Okay, I'm pandering to the crowd. Oh, interesting. I got $1,500. No, $15,000. So that was the right answer. Ah, the art of execution. A morbid selection for our twisted amusement. Let's hear it, wet, Richard. Questions up. You're offered a dangerous job in exchange for wealth. What's your choice? The answers are prioritize safety and discipline, negotiate and improve for safety, embrace the risk for wealth, or dive into danger without precautions. My answer is embrace the risk for wealth. Okay, so this guy went all in, but he went whole hog. Oh, that's interesting. Also, we got $15,000. Danger, money, and a dash of morality. Get ready, Edgar. It's your time. You must save one family member or ten strangers. What do you decide? Your answers are flip a coin, fate decides, let the fate unfold naturally, save the family without hesitation, save the strangers. Triple dot from Edgar. My answer is let fate unfold naturally. Oh, interesting. Family ties or the needs of many? Okay, so I guess I guess just by answering the question, you get 15 grand. Okay, it doesn't seem like there was a right or wrong answer on those. All right, folks, that wraps up the second round of questioning. And my, my, have we peeled back some layers. Now, we've got a glimpse of the real deal, the raw essence of each contestant. They've sized up each other, and believe me, they're sharpening their claws for what's to come. What the hell is round three about to be? I'm certain I don't know. The voting phase is up next. Stay tuned. After a short break, we'll reveal the two finalists of this twisted little game. And for you watching at home, don't forget to call up our toll-free number and join us in the studio audience for the next episode. There's always a need for fresh faces. Do they grind up the audience members too, Bo? Voting, eh? Well, well, well. Things are about to get interesting. The shadows deepen. Well, folks, it seems we're off the air now. Uh, if you need me, you know where. Okay, to find me, just don't keep me waiting too long. Okay, so let's start. Richard over there seems like he might be scheming. Okay, Hunchback of Notre Dame over there look like he might have a, uh, some kind of issue with me. But let, let me talk to Edgar. Watch your back, mate. Trust is a rare commodity in these parts. So it's come down to this, huh? Tell me, should I trust you over the other contestant? 
Oh, I see. Okay, so I should either say yes or no. See, I could form an alliance with this motherfucker, but if I tell him he can trust me, but I can't trust him, then I'm at the disadvantage. I'm gonna say no. Everybody, you know, let the gods decide, bitch. Edgar the champ, he's a trouble for me and for you. It'd be risky for you to face off with him in the finale, wouldn't it? How about we vote him out and clear the path for us? Yeah, okay, let's do it. Okay, I, I agree, but I'm definitely voting for Hunchback. <laughs> Bro, Hunchback conniving on my ass. I know he's gonna say the same thing to Edgar. I know he's gonna say the same thing to Edgar. I do think Edgar could fuck my ass up. That's no question about it. But, it do, uh, but at least I have a, a fair chance if I can make it to the ending. I don't think I make it to a fair chance if I trust Fuckboy over there. Can I talk to Edgar? I can't talk to Edgar. Oh, I already talked to him. Dommy McDumbass, are you ready to continue or do you need another moment? I'm ready. Excellent. Let's dive back in. Welcome back, folks. We're live here again. Before we dive back in, here's some quick shopping advice. Looper, the last mission. A small arcade shooter where you're trapped in a time loop and battle against your past selves. It's available for the incredible price of zero dollars. It's time to introduce the next phase, the voting round. Here's how it works. Each player will cast a vote for who they think should be eliminated. The contestant with the most votes will be out of the game. Now, to avoid any unpleasant deadlock situations where everybody gets a vote, in that case, all participants would be eliminated and there'd be no winner. So think carefully, including who you believe others might vote for. All right. Let's get down to it. Dummy McDumbass, who are you voting for? So Edgar literally told me not to trust his ass. Okay, he told me that straight up, don't trust him. So he could vote for me or he could vote for Richard. Now, in the absolute worst case scenario, I vote for Richard. Richard votes for Edgar and Edgar votes for me and all three of us are dead. Okay, so that's a bit of a miscalculation. But that's just gonna, that's just gonna be the risk you have to run. I'm just gonna have to pick one. Honestly, I think Richard's trying to play me. I think he's trying to play me. I think he's trying. To, I, I think he's trying to get uh, Edgar to vote for me, and I think Richard's trying to vote for me. Okay, because if he said that shit to me, he probably said it to Edgar. Okay, so I'm thinking I gotta vote for Richie. Richard, what about you? No hesitation, Dommy McDumbass. I fucking told you. I knew his stupid ass was gonna vote for me. And finally, wait, do they hear who you vote for? And finally, the champ, Edgar. Richard. <laughs> Yeah, he had to go. He had to go. I fucking knew that stupid ass bitch was gonna try and play me. But anybody with a hunchback in 2024 got some fucked up life going on that they can't be trusted. Okay, because who slouches like that in 2024? Get real, bitch. Get you a lumbar support chair, you mother. If I had, this would have been the perfect place for a chair sponsorship. I don't have one. Anyway, let's continue. All right, we have a winner. Or should we say the contestant that will be eliminated? Bye bye, Richie, you fuck! Richard, you're out of the game. All right, folks, we're getting closer to the grand finale of the show, and that means questions are gonna get a bit more serious. Each correct answer in this round will earn you a whopping $25,000. But enough chit chat, let's dive into the last round of questions. Now, the thing about the questions that's interesting to me is they don't actually seem to have any bearing on whether or not you live or die. It's just how much money you get when you get out. All right, Dominic McDumbass, here's your question. What is the term for killing someone by slashing their throat horizontally from ear to ear? Okay. I'm pretty sure it's a throat slit. Decapitation would require you to cut their head off, but that's not what it says. It just says cutting their throat horizontally. It doesn't say anything about the spinal cord. Okay, which I think would be decapitation. Exsanguation, I don't know what that is. I feel like we've definitely played a game like that. And, and, I, and I feel like it's like, like flaying your body or something. Or like, deep, like, I don't know, cutting your insides out or something. I don't know what it means. Okay, we all know what strangulation is. If you don't stay in school, throat slitting. That's, that's my guess. And the answer is correct, bitch. Okay, I'm kind of cooking right. I've got every question right. Ah, throat slitting silent art of painting the crimson masterpiece with a dancing blade. And Edgar, here's your question. What is the approximate volume of blood uh, that a human body loses uh, before it leads to death in an average adult. The answers are 5 to 7%, 40 to 50%, 20 to 30%, 10 to 15%. I got no idea. I know this guy knows, so I'm not even gonna trip. 
20 to 30 percent and the answer is wrong what i definitely thought eddie would have known that boat life's essence a delicate balance loss of 40 to 50 percent of blood will fade into the abyss of death all right folks so it's 40 to 50 percent okay keep that in your holsters bitch in case the couple question comes up later all right folks it's time for our last commercial break before the grand finale. Our two finalists will engage in a duel filled with thrills and spills, a real bloodbath of entertainment. My dear contestants, this is your last chance to catch your breath. I hope you're all handy with a rifle. Wait, what is the final round? I'm sorry, but even you can't escape the inevitable. Good luck! Okay, so Richard... Honestly, not a good guy, not a bad guy, just indifferent. Okay, Richard was actually a bad guy. He was trying to he was trying to scheme and connive on my ass. Okay, so at least we going up against an indifferent opponent. But I'm gonna have to cook his ass. But I'm gonna put the crosshair straight between your shit. I'm assuming that's what we're doing. Like some kind of like snipe off or something? I don't really know. Okay, so let's talk to the host and get this final show started. Well, dummy McDumbass. It's it's that time we've all been waiting for. Are you ready to face the final showdown, or do you need a moment to gather yourself? I'm ready, but let's go. Let's dive back in. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back on air. We are about to find out who will be the winner of this exciting night. Before we dive back in, here's our last shopping tip. So I think these are probably other games that maybe this developer has made, and he's promoting right here. Okay, and I don't give a fuck about them. I'm trying to snipe this bitch. I mean, who's the fool play paying to promote these, right? Oh, he's literally talking about the games right now. I mean, who's the fool paying to promote these, right? Ladies and gentlemen, an esteemed finalist, perhaps by now you've grasped the essence and purpose of this spectacle. In the initial phase of questioning, we tested the contestants' knowledge. Then their courage with the knife mini game. In the second phase of questioning and in voting, we probed the morality of players and the coldness required to choose to eliminate another individual. In the final round of questioning, we assessed whether you know the methods and if you've made it here. Wait. In the final phase of questioning, we assessed whether you know the method and if you've made it here, you have all the cards on the table to be true murderers. There's just one final step to truly define yourselves as such. Action! Oh, I see. So they're literally making you into a fucking murderer in this bitch. Ha! Huh! I don't know what I thought it was going to be, to be honest. I literally thought it was going to be like... I don't know. I literally... I guess... Who wants to be a millionaire if you win, you become a millionaire, right? But in this game, if you win, you become a murderer. No shit! Okay, I don't know. I don't know why that's such a plot twist to me. But I didn't think that's what this was. Okay, I don't know what I thought it was. But it wasn't that. Anyway. And so, in this final phase, you'll be armed with a rifle and 30 seconds of time. Whoever manages to take out the mo most people in the audience will be the new champion of this dazzling game show. Let the festivities begin. Wait, those stupid fuckers are clapping. They're about to get shot. Wait a minute. Are these people dumb as hell? Wait, so who would ever volunteer to be a, uh, a member of the, uh, of the audience boat? Oh my god. Oh my god, it's whack-a-mole. Oh my god, it's whack-a-mole. Okay, these motherfuckers. Okay. I did. I got his head. Okay. Oh, they screaming in that fucking now, bro. They ain't cheering now, bro. They was loving it when Sarah's dumb ass fell off of the shit. Okay, but, uh, but now that they the ones getting body, they not as inclined. I feel like that guy can outshoot me. Why would they not stay down? Are they stupid? Please. Ah! I beat his ass! 22. I got 22. I beat out, I beat out Eddie. All right, folks. It's time to announce the winner of tonight's thrilling episode. But before we do, let's give another round of applause to our brave contestants for their... Uh -huh. Valiant efforts. Now, without further ado, our champion, or should I say our murderer, is none other than. No, please don't do this! I'll do anything! I'll beg Dommy Mc. Oh, dumbass! So I outplayed Eddie Bo. But remember, this victory isn't just about the prize, it's about the journey, 
the thrill of the hunt, and the adrenaline rush of the kill. And let's not uh, forget the sweet and intoxicating scent of blood in the air. So without further ado, let's crown the murderer and bid a big farewell to another exhilarating episode of... Who wants to be a murderer? Ball. Oh, wow. Okay, so they got live leaderboards on this motherfucker. Some guy got 36 audience kills. That's insane! Wow. Okay, wow. So this game is something else. I don't know why I thought it wasn't going to end with me being a murderer, but it definitely, definitely did. Now, apparently this game has four endings, okay, which is interesting to me because I think we're going to go ahead and boot these back up and check out some of the other endings. Now, I'm assuming that a lot of the dialogue and what this guy says is going to be the same. Welcome, welcome, one and all, to the twist and of our game show. Yeah, it is. Okay, so these are all the same. So I'm just going to let these rip through. Actually, I guess I can just click. Yeah, it's doing the introductions again. Okay, here's me. So I'm going to say, hey, how did you know about me and my life? And of course, our final... So he didn't even answer. Okay, so, okay, so here we go. So let's just get to my first question. Let's just click through it. Because what I want to see is if you, if you pick different options with each of the other contestants, do you get a different ending? If you lose to Eddie, do you get a different ending? If this bitch drops the damn hatch on me, do I lose the do I lose the shit? Okay, so here we go. Let me what's my first question? What is the name of the mystical creature? Okay, that would be the siren. It's the siren song. We all know that. Correct. Alright, let me cook. Alright, I don't really care about these people's questions, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, that dumbass got it wrong. She got hers right. And his was wrong. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, so let me talk. So let me talk to Sarah this time. In between the first intermission, she says, I'm scared. What if I mess up? What if I get hurt? I'm going to say, we can find a way out. Listen, Sarah, if you're not up for this, we can find a way out. This game isn't worth risking uh, you getting hurt. Dami, I think, I think I need to get out of here. Oh, shit! Okay, so this is a different, minorly different storyline. So I can say, yes, it's probably best if you leave. I'm gonna, I could also say no hang in there. I'm going to say it's probably best if you leave. Yes, you're right. It's better to withdraw now. Thank you. Thank you, Dami McDumbass. I appreciate your understanding. Why do I care? Are they going to let her leave? Ow! Oh! They shot her ass dead! And you can see up her skirt. That's diabolical on two levels! Oh my god, they shot her dead. Oh my god, they shot her dead. With the knife game coming up, we know as well. Okay, tough break about Sarah, huh? But hey, the game isn't for the faint of heart. You just spared her from the suffering. It's survival of the fittest after all. Oh, so they act like I got her killed. Are you sorry about Sarah, huh? You did what we had to do. Oh, wow. Okay, so these guys are cold-blooded, Bo. Listen, in this game, there's no turning back or running away. Once you're in, you're in. Let's dive back in. Ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so here we go. So it's time for the knife game. Okay, so they're talking about Sarah getting getting killed. Oh, okay, so here's my moral question. Let me do let me do the nice one. Politely refuse to report the encounter. Oh, interesting. An elixir of uncertainty. Will that tempt your fate or will you play it safe? Okay, so th this one doesn't really matter. I don't, again, I don't really think the questions matter at all, to be honest. Cuz I still got paid and I picked the good option. Okay, so here comes the knife game. Wait a minute, did we not play the knife game? Oh, you don't play the knife game because Sarah got shot! Because she already got eliminated, so you don't got to play the knife game. Watch your back. Trust is a rare commodity in these parts. Okay, so here okay, so here comes this guy. He says, should I trust you more than the other contestants? I'm going to say yes. Edgar, the champ, he's trouble for you and me. It's going to be risky to face off against him in the finale, wouldn't it? How about we vote him off and make a clear path for us? Okay, so I'm going to say yes, let's do it. But this time, I'm actually going to vote for Edgar. I bet Richard kills me. I bet he kills me. You're holding your own pretty well. Oh! Wait, this, oh, the host is talking to me. I'm saying I'm just a fan of the show. I'm doing my best. I'm going to say I'm just a fan of the show. I got Sorry, I got a different question. Oh, really now? Well, color me impressed. It's always nice to meet a dedicated viewer. Okay, let's continue. Welcome back, folks. We're live again. Before we dive back in, here's a quick... Okay, all right. So here we go. He's telling us our games. Now it's my turn to pick who I'm going to vote for. So this time I'm going to vote for Edgar. 
but I know Richard's gonna betray me. Richard, what about you? No hesitation, Edgar. Oh! He was a man of his word. And finally the champ, Edgar Dami McDumbass. All right, we have a winner, or should we say the eliminated contestant? Okay, there goes Edgar. Okay, I actually did not think that was gonna go down like that. Okay, how long can a person survive without food or water under normal conditions? Food or water. So water would be the limiting factor. It would probably be nine to 12 days. <laughs> Fuck, three to five? Huh, the more you know. Wait, okay, so let, 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 let me talk to Richard about the final shootout. Here we are, no more games or tricks from the game from now on. It's just you and me left. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna be the one walking away victorious. Okay, so now it's gonna be the shootout of the crowd. Just a little advantage to even out the odds, huh? Wait, what did he ask me? Wait, 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 this guy asked me something. I didn't see it. Oh my God, so the dialogue does change. I don't know what the deal was, but it, it must be cheating of some kind. Okay, so he's asking me if I want to accept the deal or cheat. I obviously, I'm going to accept the deal. Excellent choice, my friend. Now that's in the spirit of the show. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back on the air. Okay. I don't know what I get. Okay, so I'm shooting. I didn't, I, I didn't see what, what, what like the cheat was that he was offering me. So I'm, I'm going to win this one again and see if your win is different if you win when you cheat. Because last time I didn't get the option to cheat. Okay, without the option to cheat, it makes it a little bit more, uh, 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 like, I, I think you might get a different ending if you cheated with. Okay, I definitely cooked. Yeah, that, that, that fucking idiot got nine. Okay, I wonder if he, like, jammed his gun or something. I feel like he must have jammed his gun or something. All right, folks, it's time to announce the winner of tonight's thrilling episode. But before we do, I'll give a round of applause for our brave contestant and their valiant efforts. Further ado... Okay, so they have the same line. He's dead, he's ground up. Remember, victory is not just about the prize, it's about the journey and the thrill of the hunt, adrenaline of the kill. Okay, so I don't think it's a different ending. Okay, I'm right up there at the top, motherfuckers. I'm literally one kill short of the max. Bro, there's me, I'm top five in the world, gamers. I'm top five in the f***ing world, bitch. Literally one more kill, I was top score of everybody that's ever played this game. I'm kinda cooking. Okay, so that wasn't a different ending though. There's four endings. I'm trying to see what they are. Let me. Okay, okay, okay. Let me. Let me. Let me let's go. I don't really think that the, that, the, that the things make a difference. I have to lose one. Okay, so I'm gonna say we can find a way out. So I'm doing this again, but this time I'm gonna tell her to stay. Okay, because I think this is gonna boost my trust. Okay, so I'm gonna say no. Hang in there. We'll face this together. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Let's do this. Okay. So now, if Richard loses the knife game, or if, if anybody but Sarah loses the knife game, really? Then we cook. I'm pretty sure ending is probably like dying in the knife game also. And I just don't want to be in last. Uh, uh. Fuck! Okay, I might be in last. Uh. Okay, we're about to test a different ending real quick. Uh. Oh my god, bitch. That's me at the top. So it's Sarah or Richard again. I think it's gonna be Sarah then. Who do they, how do they? They kill Sarah no matter what I think. I literally don't know. I mean, it does seem like she gets killed every single time. Again, I don't think anything in here really changes. Tell me, should I trust you over the other contestant? Let me say yes. I'm gonna say no, I don't wanna play dirty. Okay, so I'm voting now. I wonder, is there no way I can get voted out here? So I told him, no, I don't want to play dirty. So I'm going to vote for... I'm trying to figure out how I get voted out here. I think I need to tell Richard yes and then still vote for him. But then he votes for me. I don't know. I. Okay, he voted for me. Okay, so he did fuck me. So he did fuck me. I said, yes, you should trust me. And then I said, no, I don't want to play dirty. So I voted for Edgar. Richard voted for me. So I've got one, it's one and one. But I didn't vote for Richard. So if Edgar votes for me, I'm dead. <laughs> Fucking little dickhead. Okay, so here's the ending. <laughs> okay, I was not looking for this ending. But we're gonna get it. That's it. Okay, so they just drop you and you die. Ending 104, dead. 
Wait. So wait, I just I just saw the pop up now that said that, that, that said the ending number. What other ones was I seeing? Okay, so this time I'm gonna intentionally throw on the knife game. I'm only gonna give myself four points. Okay, five points on accident. Uh, and chop the fuck out of my fingers. Uh, 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 this look like y'all uh, if you're playing this shit on God. Okay. So do I just die? Oh my. Oh, I was gonna say Sarah went the fuck off that time, but she didn't. So I'm dead. So it just drops you in and you're dead. Okay, so that's the same ending. So if you die, you always get the same ending. Okay, so so I just got to the voting phase, but Sarah's still alive. This is something we've never seen before because she always dies. She's fucking horrible at the knife game. Okay, she just is. Okay, let me talk to this guy. Okay, trust is a rare commodity. I can't believe I misjudged you. I thought you were better than this. Huh? Oh, she told me to f myself. <laughs> Wait! You thought I was better than what, bitch? We're all playing to win. Okay, so she ain't trying to connive. She ain't trying to scheme. I'm gonna lose this. I've never lost this before, I don't think. And I'll lose it to Sarah. Because if I win, I just get the same ending. Let me at least hit a couple more buggers. Okay, let me let me quit. Otherwise, I'm gonna. I, I feel like she's gonna shoot like five, bro. So if I if, if she shoot less than however many I just did, that's insane. Literally, I'm AFK right now. But I don't even hear a gun going off. You can't look around. I was gonna say there's no way she didn't now shoot me. So I lost. All right, folks, time to announce the winner of tonight's thrilling episode. But before we do, I'll give you, let's give a round of applause for our brave contestants and their valiant efforts. Okay, so Sarah won, and I'm just dead. Yeah, okay, I don't fucking know, bro. I don't know how you get the other endings. I think the cheating one might have been the other ending. And I think, um... I think I might I think I might have got three. I might have got the winner, the dead, and then the cheater. I don't know what the fourth one is. Okay, on the on the on the game page, it shows that there are four different endings, but I got no fucking idea how you find them, bro. I got no idea. Not a clue! But I hope that y'all enjoyed this gameplay of this really, really unique game. I did not intend to play this game for an hour. Okay, I, I just played this game for an hour. I did not intend for it to take me that long. But I really did enjoy it, and I hope y'all did too. Uh, enjoy this full gameplay of Who Wants to Be a Murderer? And if y'all did, make sure you do that standardized YouTube shit for me. You go down below, you like the video, you subscribe, you let me know what else y'all want to see down below. Love and appreciate y'all. I'm going to see y'all later. If y'all know how to get that last ending or two of the other endings, depending on how many I got, let me know, and I'll see. Maybe we'll come back and do another epic. Love and appreciate y'all. For now, I gotta go. Goodbye!